in order to truly know yourself, understand the world and be able to act instead of react, it's extremely important to understand the essence of esoteric psychology and we will demonstrate some content of this essence related to the guru, magician and tantric master Padma Sambhava who brought Buddhism to Tibet in the 8th century after Christ. When looking at Padma Sambhava you directly see that he is awake, present and ready to act. His eyes are widely open, the symbol of the consciousness which is seeing all, the watcher. Then in his right hand, the hand of action, he holds the Vajra. The Vajra is the symbol for the consciousness that penetrates all illusion, all projections and all identifications. This symbol is extremely important because at this point of mankind's evolution many many people are identified with roles, political parties or different lands or different people and the power of identification draws people into the abyss of being unconscious, acting unconscious and creating more and more confusion. The Fatra penetrates this world of illusion and you always start to penetrate your own projections, your own illusions, your own identifications. That's why the Fatra also stands for the unbreakable power of true awareness, of awareness in this moment rising in your field of consciousness. Then in his left hand he holds the white skull cup made from the upper part of the skull, also the base of a very sacred drum, the skull drum, consisting of two skull cups. This skull cup or kapala is a real tantric symbol and is associated with the acceptance of all aspects of existence including our own mortality and all impermanence. So in a psychological esoteric way it suggests the opportunity we have to embrace all the parts of our being and the skull cup is containing quite often the nectar of immortality signifying the possibility that we have to transcend the small death, the identifications, the ways we lose ourselves in everyday life, signifying the fact that if we drink this nectar of immortality that we can be alert in the here and now and transform everything which needs to be transformed and integrating the shadow aspects of ourselves.